Hey, how's it going, man? My name's Aaron. I'm just checking out your uh, plumbing business on Home Advisor, and just wanted to give you three quick tips on how you can really use the internet to boost your business, um, other than using things like Home Advisor. Things that you can apply, um, because I see that you're using Home Advisor, so I know that you're probably paying for leads or probably bidding for leads with other plumbers, and just working with business owners. I already know how frustrating that could be, how how tedious and how really just annoying that could be sometimes working with these third party um, just trying to get leads through the door so here's some ways that you can really generate leads on your own doing some things that you can apply so um, just scrolling through um, I don't see that you have a website posted um, so that's just a ground where you're gonna need a website um, just there's just a lot of things that you can use a website to really capitalize on with your business so definitely get that done It's something I can do for you if you don't have one but assuming that you have one um, the first thing you need to do is make sure that's a mobile friendly site because you can see right here the Wall Street Journal publishes Google gives a boost to mobile friendly sites so um, what that means is if it's not mobile friendly it's gonna get penalized and it's not gonna get seen because that's a bad look on Google if someone's searching through their mobile phone and they find it come through across a site that looks crappy on their phone and the pictures are too big and the text is too small um, that's a bad look on Google, so they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they don't want their those sites to be seen. So that's a really quick fix that a lot of business owners don't even realize that that's why they're not their websites aren't being seen or you're not getting any traffic through their websites. It's because Google is not allowing them to be seen in the search results if people are looking for your site or anything like that. So definitely get that done. It's a real quick fix. I can run it through a quick diagnostic to make sure it's mobile friendly. If it's not, I can uh, I can switch it real quick. Um, really easy fix but that'll save you a lot of headaches down the road if you're trying to get some business um, so that's a quick thing that you can use to separate yourself um, a big thing that I would do though that is the number two is which is gonna be getting on this map pack now you already might be on this map pack which is it's a really easy thing all you have to do is verify your business through Google to get on this map pack but um, really what we want to do is getting you in this top three because getting in this top three is going to be the difference between you having a five-figure business at the end of the year and having a six-figure business. Maybe even seven figures depending on how busy you really are um, and, and the area and everything. Maybe it's the difference between a, a, a vacation and three vacations. You know, you never know. Everybody wants something different, but everybody also wants business. And I'm telling you right now, this top three is prime real estate for business. These guys, I can guarantee, are stealing a crap ton of customers from you. Um, as far as the Aurora market goes because um, this is just prime real estate man and all it really takes to get in this top three are these things called citations now if I'm speaking a foreign language to you all a citation is is your name address and phone number plastered all over on reputable sites that take citations and that's it that's the name of the game man if this guy has 200 you do 300 if this guy has 800 you do a thousand that's it that's all you gotta do and Google will eventually outrank you guys in this map pack um, and I can tell you right now that this is actually going to be a little bit easier for you to rank because look at this guy. This guy doesn't even have a website. That when I see things like this um, in my business, I this is a low hanging fruit to me. This this niche in this market because this guy doesn't even have a website. So that just spells to me that this is actually going to be a bit easier than other niches in other in other cities to really rank in. So you should definitely capitalize on that. Um, get those citations done. It can take some time, but it's definitely worth it. If you don't want to take that time to do all those citations. Definitely, that's something I can do for you. Um, but if you're trying to boost your business, get those things done regardless, because this this will really transform your business. Now, for the last thing, I'm going to show you how to rank organically. Now, organically is everything that's under the map pack. So all this stuff down here, that's ranking organically. So to rank organically um, is a little bit trickier, but I found one way that can really help separate you from the rest, and that's going to be content. Because most people aren't going to put a lot of content. So let's just check out this guy, for example. So this guy maybe has like a, a hundred words of content in here, like all this stuff. If you were to go out and put a thousand words of unique content, um, that's really going to pop out in the eyes of Google. Because I can tell you right now, most business owners don't have more than 500 words of content on their homepage. I'd be surprised if they even had 500 words of content on their homepage. And that's what I mean. It's really going to separate yourself because no one else is doing that. No one is going to have a thousand words of homepage. Um, and that's going to pop out in the eyes of Google and just help you rank that much faster. Why do you think Wikipedia is always like the first thing that pops up in all your searches? It's not just because they have a deal with Google. It's because they have the most content relative to what you're searching compared to the next guy. So, you know, take advantage of that and, and really do that. Here's an example of a site I did for a carpet cleaner in Lakewood. 
and I did the exact same thing. I went through, tricked out the site, put a thousand words in, and did a little bit of other things to really get it ranked. Before this guy, you couldn't even find him. His site was crappy, he had very little content. Couldn't even find him in Google. I couldn't find him on any pages in Google when I searched him in his area for a carpet cleaner. Now, after all these changes I made in just a short period of time, he's already ranked number five overall on the front page of Google when you type in Lakewood Carpet Cleaning. Um, and yeah, he's already reaping the benefits. Now we're just tackling out these citations, getting them up here, and he's slowly but surely climbing up. I think he's on like number four and number five right now in that. And um, he's, But he's already reaping the benefits. And you can too of doing these little changes that I've explained to you. Um, yeah, take advantage of that, man. I, I'd love to help you out. I'd love to, to sit down with you and really talk about some things I could do because I do a lot more than what I'm just showing you. These are just things that you can apply that, that can really provide value to your business. But I'm really, um, I really specialize in lead generation. So what I do is I really just, I'm the guy that gets the people through the door and getting them paying you and not the other guy. Um, cause you guys have too much trying, uh, too much to worry about to try to worry about all this internet stuff as well on top of your other business. So this is what I do to help business owners, especially local business owners. This is my city. I'm from Colorado, from Aurora. So, um, I love to help uh, local business owners out, but Hit me up. Talk to me soon. Also, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to send you a free $75 Google Hours coupon just for checking this video out. All you have to do is respond to me, and I'm going to send that to you. So, yeah, good luck in business, and I hope to talk to you soon.